Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Laurent Bukabza and I'm going to present today the second movement of the Sonata number 16th, Opus 31, number one. It's a rondo form. So this movement is the third longest slow movement ever written by Beethoven. The longest of them all is of course from the Hammer Clavier, then the Opus 111, and then there's this one that lasts about 11 minutes and 30 seconds. It starts with a long trill. So what's interesting in here is all these trills. We're gonna have trills everywhere. We found out that on Sonata number four, we had a lot of trills already. We're gonna see that trills are going to appear more and more up to the Opus 111 where trills are pages long. So we start with the trill. You see how long the trill is right away. And the left hand is interesting because we have a staccato, but a note on the bass that's supposed to be held for a whole beat, and then let go. So we really have three different instruments, the melodic line, an accompaniment that's pizzicato from the orchestra, and then the bass that's sustained but only for one beat. But because we're in the second movement, I do not believe we should play staccatissimo, such as like this. I think that's too extreme. I think that if we were in an orchestra, they want to do big, big, they would try to sustain. So I like... section and the A will be repeated by the left hand. because it's like eerie. It feels like a horror movie, kind of. Enormous tension. And the dissonance. That's the same dissonance when in the first movement when you have... It's a direct dissonance. And then we have the first cadenza. Then go back to A with a little variations, of course, instead of. that he was playing in the first moment between major and minor and that will open actually the way of thinking that Brahms will be using as a trademark. Brahms is famous for going from major to minor all the time. Well here this is what we have except that C minor is not going to stay C minor for long. He's going to go to an A flat major. projected to almost a century ahead. I mean, Beethoven? And it's written this way. For once, it's really on top of each other. It's the first attempt. It goes really far harmonically. And then we have this long pedal of dominant, the G. to A. The left hand has... And in an interesting 
way, the right hand varies very little. The left hand does the variation. First time we had a... And the second time we have... Two small variations. And now we're going to a pretty copycat of the B we have. That's why it's a B prime. So we have that eerie section. And then we're going to go to the same cadenza that we had the first time. I'll let you discover. Back to A again one more time. So now we had A, B. Then A, the C, that's the C minor, goes to A flat. Back to A, then we have the B prime, then we're back to A. It should be the end of the piece. And it's gonna sound like this. But we know Beethoven, what we have, the coda. You see how the trill exchange voices, sometimes in the middle, sometimes it's in the top, middle. Coda, we'll go to the second coda, which is the restart of the steam at the left end. But because of what I just played, it's just the head of the theme. And then it's gonna repeat it four times, actually not three times, like Beethoven likes it, with insisting on that dissonance. So is my presentation. Now let's listen to the second movement without interruptions.
I hope you enjoy this beautiful second movement. It's very extended, but it's so beautiful. I really, truly love it. If you want to know more about me, you can follow me on all social media, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, LinkedIn, TikTok, or on my website, www.laurentbookups.net that you can see right now. All the links are in the description below. Please subscribe to my channel and let everyone know about my work. Thank you for helping me on this. Thank you for your support. I totally appreciate it. Thank you for all the comments. And I'll see you next week for the third and last movement of this beautiful 16th sonata. Thank you. Bye-bye now.